So we're working with 8.7 network simplex method. So it's just a quick example. Uh, let's just draw a small network here uh, with some costs on some nodes. And so I want to make sure that I pay attention to this um, because sometimes we have uh, costs here. Sometimes we have flows. So my B1 here is going to be 7. B2 is equal to 5. Uh, B4 is equal to minus 3. B3 is equal to negative 9. And now my costs are $4, $1, $5, $10, $20, $30, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
um, minus y2 is equal to uh, 4. I'm going to write the 4 though as uh, c12. Oops, and it's not an equal sign here, it's going to be less than or equal to. Right, for the standard max problem. Good. And then uh, what about the uh, next one? The next column here we're going to have, um, actually this is going to go by nodes, right, because y1 kind of stands for node 1, and then y2 is node 2, and so on. And so this is actually going to be the, um, the way this is going to proceed. Um, and so we'll have, uh, let's see, y1 minus y3, oops, less than or equal to c13. And then next one, uh, y2 minus, oops, minus y4 is less than or equal to, oops, that's uh, y3, sorry about that. I'm looking at this column right here, and that's uh, C23, right? And then next one is going to be two for 2, 4. Uh, so that's um, Y2 minus Y4 less than or equal to C24. And then last one is the 4, 3. So that's going to be um, uh, plus y4 and minus y3 is less than or equal to c43. And so you see that uh, here, 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 here in the dual, we get that uh, cij is going to be greater than or equal to uh, yi minus yj. Good. All right. And so if I bring those, uh, if I bring these over, Right, then I see that uh, Cij minus Yi plus Yj is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, this is a constraint for the dual. Good. Uh, by the way, um, another computation that we're going to try to make comes from the complementary slackness. So from complementary slackness, We know that uh, xij from the primal, which is a minimization problem, right, times our slack variables uh, is going to be zero, right? This is the slack from the maximum maximization problem, right? And so if xij is a basic variable, then Sij must be equal to zero, right? And so, um, therefore, uh, if xij is a basic variable, then we have the equation uh, cij equals yi minus yj. Okay, so instead of just having it less than or equal to, it is now equal to. And remember, this is how we found uh, the u's and the v's in the transportation problem, right? And so the same thing is going to happen in this. Uh, what we're going to see is that uh, when we, where we have a basic variable, by the way, this is a flow value, that's a basic variable, then the cost value is going to have this relationship. And so if only one of these yi's, or y, if only y1, <laughs> Let me say that again. If only yi or yj is unknown, then we would be able to solve this for it, right? Okay, so we'll see how to use that later. Very good. Now, before we get going, there's one last observation that I'd like to make. Observation. That's about row zero. So when we were talking about row zero of our max problem, um, so for the max, the regular max problem, we had that minus C transpose 
uh, plus CB transpose, B inverse A was uh, rho zero, is uh, the optimal rho zero. Okay, now in this case, remember that the cost function, the cost values are actually coming from a minimization problem. So for us, the CIJ are coming from a min problem. And so therefore, when we take our maximization for the simplex method, we're going to be taking the negative of the C's, right? So for the max, uh, we take uh, the C here is going to be Maybe I should write it like the C uh, in this notation is actually equal to minus the Cij, right? So then uh, when we construct our equation, if I'm writing this equation in terms of the Cij, then that becomes C transpose minus uh, CB transpose times B inverse A, okay? Or, uh, shorthand for that, this is just going to be Y, right? That's our solution to our dual. And so why don't we just call it uh, C transpose minus Y transpose A, right? And so again, this is these are the optimal row zero values. Um, and now I want to pay more attention to the what the matrix A looks like, right? So what the matrix A looks like is uh, like a plus one and a minus one in one column, and this was the column for one two, x one two, and so for the column x i j, what's going to happen? You're going to have a plus one in the ith position and a minus one in the jth position, right? Of that column. And so what does that mean? That means that when you take the column of A corresponding to xij, so for xij um, a non-basic variable, I guess we're not spelling that out, then uh, these simplify, right? So this is just going to be Cij minus, and then the y transpose times uh, the column uh, with a plus one and a minus one. And so what happens is that this ends up being, when you simplify it all, it's going to end up being um, y i minus y j, or do you see what's what the formula is going to be? C i j minus y i plus y j, and didn't we already see that expression up here? We did. Uh, actually, it's right here. Good. So this is going to be uh, row zero values for the non-basic variable. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to stop here because I've kind of run out of time, but I want to remember these formulas. And so the first thing I'm going to do in the next video is just uh, restate the formulas that we're going to use uh, for the network simplex method.